Now that we remember how to do one and two step equations and we've looked at simplifying expressions, we should pretty easily be able to follow these steps and solve multi-step equations that have the same variable on both sides of the equal sign. So when we're following these steps, we can get an answer for x. So what I'm going to do for my first step is write the equation down and draw our line down the equal sign. So I've written down the equation and I need to draw my line down to keep the sides separate from each other. My next step is to simplify the left side. So I am not looking at the right side of the equation at all right now. I'm going to cover it up actually. But I'm going to cover it up with something that does not get in my way. So here we go. So I'm only looking at this left side. I can simplify using the distributive property first. I'm going to bring down this 8x. I do 7 times 2 and I get 14. I also need to do 7 times negative 3x and I'm going to get negative 21x. I can then combine like terms. I combine 8x with negative 21x and I get negative 13x plus 14. And that's as simple as it can go because once I am down to my variable term and a constant, then that's as simple as it can get because those are unlike terms. My next step is to simplify the right side. So this time I'm gonna actually cover up my left side, focus in only on that right side. So I get to use the distributive property again. Negative six times two X gives me negative 12 X. Negative six times five gives me negative 30. This is already just two terms, one variable term and one constant. So that is as simple as this side can be. So I am ready to move on. What I'm going to do is make sure my two sides are in line with each other. So I'm just gonna bring them down. Negative 13x plus 14 equals negative 12x minus 30. And what I'm going to do is square my variable terms and circle the constants. So we're going square, circle, Notice you include the sign that comes before it, square and circle. So I've done that and I can move on to step number four. The reason the square, the variable terms and circle, the constants is in its own step is because usually part of steps two and three, you kind of include this circle and square because that's how you figure out that you're done with the simplifying. Um, now we're going to add or subtract to make the variable terms, which is our squares, on one side. This is super important. Steps four and five, you're just doing addition and subtraction. So we're only doing addition and subtraction so that the square isn't on both sides anymore. We just want a square on one side. So the opposite of minus 13x is to do plus 13x. To get rid of it, I'm going to add 13x to this side too so that I do not violate our equal sign. Negative 13x and positive 13x cancel out. I'm going to bring down my 14 negative 12x plus 13x gives me 1x and I'm going to bring down this negative 30. Now what I'm going to do 
is add and subtract to move the circles to be on the other side. So right now I have a circle on this side by itself. So my constant is by itself, but I have a constant sharing a side with the variable right now. We don't want that. So I'm gonna add 30 to get rid of this minus 30. If I do that to this side, I have to also do it to this side. Minus 30 and plus 30 cancel out. I'm gonna bring down my one X. 14 plus 30 is 44, and I know that 44 equals 1x. So I know already that x equals 44, but what I'm going to do is just show you how we would do step number six if it were the case that we had to multiply or divide to get rid of the coefficient. So we are now on step six. So up until here, when we are looking at both sides, we are only doing addition and subtraction. So when I'm only doing addition and subtraction, I'm not thinking ahead to multiplication or division. Now that I have a circle on one side and a square on the other, I can do multiplication and division. So the one is a coefficient, so it is attached to the x with multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division, so I need to divide by one. Those ones cancel out, and I am left with x equals 44. There's a way to check these type of problems. When we check our answer, what we are doing is looking at the original equation and plugging in our answer to ensure we did the problem correctly. So down here it says check your answer, example one. And we have that same equation. We have x, sorry, 8x plus 7, then our parentheses 2 minus 3x equals negative 6, 2x plus five. When we're checking our answer, what we're doing is we're just replacing x with the number we got. So in the spot of x, I drew these parentheses. So I knew exactly where to plug in this 44. So I'm going to plug in 44 here and here and here. And then I'm gonna use my calculator and I'm gonna let it help me ensure that I got the correct answer. So we have eight times 44, eight times 44, and I get 352 plus seven, and inside of our parentheses, I really should be using our order of operations. So what I'm going to do is follow that so that we don't get confused. Um, I sometimes will have little shortcuts, but um, it's still following the order of operations, but just for the sake of clarity, let's think about what we would actually do first. So looking at this, what I'm gonna do first is what's inside of parentheses. Specifically speaking, we want to do the multiplication inside of parentheses first. So we have negative 3 times 44. I'm left with negative 300 and, oh, sorry, negative 132. So in this case, we have 2 minus 132. And my parentheses get simplified to negative 130. What I can do now is the eight times 44. Eight times 44 gives me 352. I can also do the multiplication that is seven times negative 130 and I can get 352 plus negative 910. And now I can do my addition and I get negative 500 and 58. 
You don't have to do it with the order of operations. That was just a quick refresh because this is a smart calculator. It does the order of operations for me. So if I plug in my other side, oops, I forgot the negative sign. Negative six, two, parenthesis, 44, close parenthesis, plus five, close the other parenthesis, and I get the same thing. So I know that I solved it correctly because the same thing is on both sides of my equation. So the check worked.